Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we had of course uh, rolling out yesterday for Windows 11 some uh, bug fixing updates. What Microsoft likes to call the C updates uh, which is kind of a weird way of making the weeks because it's technically D but I don't know. That's Microsoft. So it does not contain any security updates. It is really just for bug fixes. And uh, maybe if you have issues, you should try this out. So one of them is, uh, just if you look at the major update uh, fixes here, uh, first is audio service that stops responding on some devices that have uh, hardware accelerated Bluetooth audio. So if you had some audio issues with Bluetooth, maybe this is going to fix it. Uh, some fixes for icons for apps when the apps are not running that um, on the taskbar these icons might display as active even though the app is not running it uh, is still saying oh yeah it's running so it stays on the on the taskbar uh, and they actually are fixing various issues with the taskbar so um, I know that some of you still have apparently that taskbar problem where it uh, displays nothing so uh, with this update the latest update uh, installed um, it could maybe fix this they have uh, updates that cause device device to stop working when it's connected to multiple displays uh, incorrectly shows a volume icon in the taskbar is muted and uh, updates that issue that might prevent icons from appearing on the taskbar of a secondary display they improve audio uh, auto brightness and provide better response so uh, things like that there's quite a few more fixes in here but these are the major issues that are fixed so uh, basically uh, KB5008353 is the update if you want to know if you have it go into the settings and Windows update because it is an optional update it won't install unless you go and check it out and click the download and install but if you look at your update history after it installed, you should see that there's a um, cumulative update for Windows 11 uh, that was installed um, or is going to be installed today or yesterday, uh, January 25th to 26th. And last but not least, once again, there's a .NET framework um, update for 3.5 and 4.8 for Windows 11. So uh, lots of little fixes that might actually be helpful for a lot of you if uh, you have issues in Windows 11. The Windows version after you have uh, updated should be at 22,000.469. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.